What I love about the fact that we already have garden beds and this isn't the first garden bed I'm doing is I don't feel the same rush that I did when we made our very first beds. Like I feel satisfied that I've got plenty planted, lots growing and this will just give me even more food to grow. Maybe you noticed, maybe you didn't, but every single bed that I'm planting with vegetables, I'm also planting flowers at the ends. The purpose of this is to attract more beneficials into the garden, things like ladybugs, bees, butterflies that help you defend against the bugs you don't want. So flowers with each bed, that encourages me to keep planting flowers so that I'm not just planting vegetables and leaving those out. It's a really important component of the garden. This is going to be one of my tomato beds. I'm yet to get the seeds in. So over here, I'm going to plant things like basil and borage, maybe even some garlic. And these are all going to be flowers that are going to be beneficial to the tomatoes in particular. So planting them together just makes sense. And then in this spot over here, I think I've mentioned before that we get quite a lot of strong winds around here. I, I've shown it to you guys before. So I'm actually going to plant some native rosella down here. It's going to create a bit of a shrub at the end of the garden. And hopefully because it's a native, it's going to withstand a lot more of the heat and the winds and the severe weather that we can sometimes get around here. And hopefully that will help to defend some of the other plants that are in this garden. There are so many worms in this part. I've already had to place a lot back and keep them safe because I've accidentally dug them out but I always make sure to be super careful and use a pitchfork when fluffing my garden bed and to be quite gentle. It is getting stinking hot. We have planted out five beds. I got my spaghetti squash in. I got some more bush beans in with the spaghetti squash. I got more beetroot and more leeks in. And I've ended up fluffing up just about every single bed. I think there's only one vegetable bed left and two flower bed left. So pretty much done planting out this garden, which is really exciting. Good morning, everyone. It is the last pig move ever. We are taking the boys from down in the forest where they currently are all the way up to where we first had them so if you remember we had them in our pig pen and the first time we moved them onto pasture it was just up this hill right now we've got our fruit trees planted in that next paddock but that first original paddock we had them in is where they are moving for their final time It has been incredible with the boys to chip away at some of the tea tree to help us clear it because we're moving them from paddock to paddock naturally. If there's any tea tree or limbs of trees, like dead trees in the way, we have to clear them so that they don't ground out the fence. So that's been helping us to maintain the property, especially the boundaries around us to make it a lot safer, a lot more accessible. It's been really good to actually use the pigs on the property for the last six months and they're definitely going to be missed. But with all that being said, we will have pigs again in the future. I absolutely guarantee it. We've absolutely loved ha having them here, uh, but there's something else coming for the homestead very soon. So take your guesses down below at what animal you think is coming next to our property um, during our spring and summertime, uh, but also moving into the future. Things are changing, things are getting exciting, and we're looking forward to the next step. Coming to his mommy. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Come on, boys. Up, up, up. Go on. Get 
get your bio char leader. I'll bring some over for you. Mate. He's making it so hard. Hatliatka, pick, 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 pick. pick. It's funny because the first time we moved them up into this area when they were little, we thought they were big. We have a few potato patches now and one that hasn't been doing too well is the very first one I planted. So I'm just going to call it and I'm going to harvest the potatoes. Let's see how many we get. This area has really struggled and you can see from the potatoes that I planted, we only get a few little ones so far. At least the potatoes have fluffed up the soil here, which is exactly what we wanted to achieve. You can see the potatoes that we planted that have made all of these little ones have kind of like rotted away. And then the new potatoes have grown from the roots. I do wonder if I plant this again, if I'll get more potatoes somewhere else. This little plant, three little potatoes. Honestly, from the looks of it, it just looks like the soil was too compact. And so the potatoes just couldn't get through. Oh, that looks good. That's a nice big one. Not bad. So I know I've been saying I want to get bees, but it looks like the bees have decided they want to get us. We have a whole swarm in our garden right now. I am devastated to say that the swarm we saw last night actually left by the time we got home with all of our, our supplies. To be honest, we probably weren't quite ready to have bees that soon, but we know that it's swarm season at the moment and we're keen to get them. We got even more excited yesterday since that happened. So I'm gonna set everything up today. As soon as I get ready, I'm still half awake. As you know, I have to come out early in the morning to let the little chicks out. But as soon as I'm ready, you and I were going to get set up for our bees and hopefully soon we'll get another swarm come through. I am still in absolute disbelief that literally just yesterday we had a bee swarm right up there in our garden just waiting to be caught by us which is incredible but nonetheless they weren't there this morning and now at least we're going to be prepared for the next swarm. I am now more determined that, than ever to catch my own bees. Having a swarm voluntarily come to our garden will just be incredible. Sam and I actually got to make some beeswax frames the other day with Alex, one of our beekeepers in the local area, which was so much fun. So we actually made some of these ourselves. They smell so good. They smell like beeswax and honey 
and they're actually going to encourage the bees to come over. Our bee system has eight frames. This is quite heavy when, when it's full of honey. Alex actually let us lift his system to see just how heavy it is. So yeah, eight frames is definitely enough. So I got a bee box that is already made up, ready to go. It's already been painted and I can just decorate it. But then we also have a box that needs to be constructed, painted, all of that. So there's the two sides, they've got the handles on the outside and then the two ends have the groove here that the frames sit on. So clearly it goes that way. And there we go, got a big box. Now I just need to screw all the sides in, which they've already pre-drilled all the holes. This is an exterior paint, so it will be waterproof and weatherproof as well, which is really important. Also, I just saw the coolest thing ever. And it's not my handsome pigs. Look at this. We have a little apricot, but because these trees are still young and establishing their roots into the ground, I have to pick it off. We've got an apricot. The tree actually wants to fruit here. It's happy. Yesterday was one of those days where every single thing I tried to do went wrong. I ended up splitting the wood of my bee box because I drilled it in the wrong spot. Sam was kind enough to drill this together and putty up my mistakes. So now we've got the stand all ready to go and I can paint it. I ended up putting together my beehive box, which I did well, but I forgot to use glue. So now I have to pull it apart. Things broke. I burnt my pizza. Like everything that could go wrong went wrong. So today I'm fixing up my mistakes. Unfortunately, that means the, the job is going to take twice as long, but it is what it is. So let's take this bee box apart, put it back together and then set it up in our yard. I hope I can still take it apart considering that it's painted.